label A and B at shoulder dot legs, label C and D at waist dot legs. Draw style lines as required, but it should pass through apex point. Label E and F. Slash from E to apex point, pivot at apex point and close the shoulder dot which will open the dot at E. Trace the pattern as highlighted above. Cut the pattern separately, which gives you front top panel. Trace the pattern as height and cut separately, which gives you center front panel. Trace the pattern as highlighted, which gives you front side panel. Converting the dots to decorative seams completed. We are going to see how to eliminate the dots into the front yoke and back yoke seams. This shoulder dot can be eliminated as a part of yoke. For this, I am taking one shoulder dot and waist dot slope off. First, you have to reduce the waist dot by half an inch. Mark half an inch. Redraw the waist dot. Then draw a horizontal line from bus point to center front on the bust level. Now you can cut bus point to center front. And the dot leg near to the center front. This will give you the yoke pattern for the front. This is dot axis that can be removed. Now this will act as a yoke, this will come at the bottom. Once you attach to this to this, then here to here you will get the mount. So in this method you can eliminate shoulder dot into the front yoke seam. Now we are going to see how to convert the dot into decorative seams. In the last session, we have seen how to 
convert eliminate dot into front yoke it is not only limited to front yoke we can do lot of decorative seams for this i am taking two dot front sloper mark a and b at the shoulder dot c and d at the waist dot then mark e at the mid arm hole connect e to bust point marking 4 inches above the bust line level mark f then connect f to bust point now slash e to bust point then bus point to f yep. then cut c2 bus point cut d2 bus point this will make c bus point e as a separate panel d bus point f as a separate panel and e bus point f as a separate panel now this dot come out so we can join c to d together to make a style line this dot can be closed and trace the pattern so that we can remove this dot also to close the dot crease the dot leg now if you see dot is converted here converted into the seam once you join the seam it will act as a dot so we have a three parts if you join all three it will give the same fit as the basic dot mark a and b at shoulder dot Draw a horizontal line 
from apex point to center front cut the horizontal line and trace the pattern as highlighted separate the pattern and mark grind line this will produce yoke pattern trace the front pattern as highlighted separate the front pattern mark grind line and label shoulder dot is converted into front yoke seam now we are going to see how to eliminate the dot in the back yoke seam for this take your back bodies mark a and b in the shoulder dot decide your yoke length now i'm taking 4 inch yes my yoke length and draw a horizontal line at the yoke level extend the center of the shoulder dot till the yoke line and redraw the dot till the yoke line then slash the yoke line till the dot end point now crease the dot leg and close the dot it will spread at the yoke level check the measurement and mark the same measurement down and connect to the dot end point now trace yoke separately draw the neck line shoulder line is straight even though we have cut here the shape has to be come on the bottom part not on the yoke part yoke yoke you have to make it straight and the bottom of the bodies make it as a curve trace the yoke part connect the lines
so now the dot is transferred here slash the line and remove this excess So, this shoulder dot is converted here, it will act as a dot and mark notches here and cut the yoke. Now you can see that the solder dot is converted into yoke seam. The solder dot now we have converted into yoke seam. While joining these two join together and act as a dart. 